So if somehow last night you were able to avoid that four-hour marathon broadcast they call the Oscars, I'll break it all down for you this morning. Best picture. And the winner is The Hurt Locker. Captain Big Nicholas Chartier. The best actor in a leading role. And the Oscar goes to Jeff Bridges. The best actor in a supporting role went to Christopher Waltz. The best actress in a leading role. And the winner is Sandra Bullock in the brown side. The best actress in a supporting role. And the winner is Monique. In Precious, based on the novel Push by Sapphire. The best animated feature film went to Up and the best art direction went to Avatar and all the rest pretty much don't matter, right? See, they could have broken all down to that. It would have been so much easier. Apparently, No Man is Off Limits to Angelina Jolie. A new book called Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, The True Story, reveals that Angelina Jolie slept with Mick Jagger back in 1997. Apparently, the two had a fling while she was trying to do some video for the Stones. I don't get that one either. Are Fergie and Josh Demel ready to expand their family? Well, friends of the couple are telling the National Enquirer that they think that Fergie may be pregnant. She's definitely got more tummy lids is the quote. She's certainly acting pregnant, and she suddenly cut out all the alcohol and is taking way better care of herself. Hmm. I wonder if that might have something to do with just taking way better care of herself. MTV and producers of the Jersey Shore are being sued by a couple that's unhappy with how they were edited in the infamous boardwalk fight with Sammy and Ronnie. They say it was edited to cover up what really happened, and what appeared in the show was completely inconsistent with what really took place, and they think that MTV knew they were clearly intoxicated when they signed a release form allowing the network to use the footage. You think? Charlie Sheen's troubles in Colorado aren't going away so easily. Radar Online is reporting that the district attorney is refusing to accept a plea deal from the actor that doesn't involve a felony. A source is claiming that the DA is worried that one of these days that someone is going to get killed and he wants to send a message that we as a community do not tolerate this type of behavior. And Katy Perry is going to lend her voice to the upcoming live action animated flick The Smurfs The Movie. <laughs> That's the dirt. Make sure you check it out every weekday morning, 6.15, 7.15, and 8.15 on New 102.3.